Welcome to a new era of Law Country. Now, if you don't know what Law Country is, I've made, I think, one or two videos on the game before. If not, you can go ahead and look it up on other um, YouTube channels. Basically, it's a realistic Roblox game, like one of the most realistic roleplay types of games. Obviously, there's a bunch of realistic games out there. But, in my opinion, one of the most realistic Roblox roleplay games. As you can see, here's the map. Um, but they did update the game for a September update. I am a, f I am a few days late, though I will be checking it out for you guys and stuff like that. So first things first, I notice I'm able to create a private server now. This is just like the ERLC servers. They have a bunch of customization options, which I probably will not go over. Um, unless I'm able to I do have to buy the private server which I will do in a minute but as you can see you can enter name description icon and max players now one thing I find cool is that the max players go to 50 due to how big this game really is you would think 50 is not max I'm not gonna lie all right I'm in my private server so it says I'm an owner in this private server so I assume if you're a server staff member this will pop up for you it, it would probably say you are an admin or mod or whatever you have so let's go to the update um okay i guess it doesn't work credits though here are all the uh credits i don't know why i'm going over this this is just basic stuff that's been here since the game launch also thank you to the developers for adding my name in this little shout out thing it says thank you on the rp master myself in a maze place for reviewing the game of course i love this game and i will um make as much videos as i can on it even though it's been slow, but I'm getting there. All right, so you have a bunch of commands. So if you moderate somebody, you have all these. Um, it's very limited because moderators are like the lowest type of moderation, though administrators can do a bunch of more stuff, maybe combat mode, announcement. They can mod people, force a call out, and then they could do all the basic moderator commands. Co-owner, the same thing though they have the powers over the admin and i guess the gas i guess they could set gas prices which is pretty cool and then owner obviously just everything and then co-ownering and then unco-ownering a user and one thing i did notice is we have a spawn now which i love because i hated spawning in that old spawn um because i don't know it's just not for me so uh i think i have some money um, I'm gonna go back out here real quick. So I have 134,000 um, It is right up here and they added a bunch of new cars in the game, which I'll show you guys right now All right, so if you're reading here, it says added 2020 Hellcat widebody 2022 Cadillac 2022 Mercedes. It's a G-Wagon. They added a Corvette I thought they already had one and they added a bunch of Tesla's which I'm gonna be showcasing Two of the Teslas, which will be the Cybertruck and the Model X. Um, because I don't have time to obviously show all of them. And then I might show off um, one of these three. I'm not sure. They also added a bucket truck on the DOT team, which we will check out later in the video. And then you also have Cruise, which I would level up to be a Mafia with an ERLC. So I think this is a really good update. So if you do know what a Mafia and ERLC it is, it's basically what these crews are. And then we have a Chirp app, which is basically like a Twitter app or an X app. Um, parking enforcement system, which I'll show later. And without further ado, let's get back in the game. Yeah, I just realized I've literally been talking for five minutes. I haven't showcased one thing. All right, so I guess this is the new Hellcat that they have. Oh, no, this is not. I think this has been in the game. Um... I'm not sure what they added, to be honest, other than the Teslas. Like, I can't find anything. All right, so here's the Cybertruck. Here is the Model X, and here is the Model 3. Now, I only have money for one of them, which I didn't think about. This is also the wide body I think they added, which, personally, I love it. This is going to be one of my go-to cars when playing this game. Though, I will purchase the Cybertruck for you guys because I think it's the mo I think it's like the most weird looking truck like not it's it's weird but cool and it's in law country you know you see me at least I see Tesla's all the time within um, like real life you know I you don't see you don't see cyber trucks every single day um, so let's get into this thing let's see how it sounds um, 
So I don't know if you guys can hear it well, but it is my. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to have to make this a little bit louder. It literally sounds like an electric engine. Also, one thing I noticed, dude, the lighting is like different. Like, I like it. Like, I, I love this lighting. They also have turn signal sounds, which I think they have on most of the vehicles. But on this Cybertruck, it just sounds so cool. I'll go ahead and raise the volume for you guys. Because it just it just makes playing the game feel so much better. And then... Okay, so... I don't know. Did they change the grass color? Dude, I'm just playing this game for the first time in a long time. And it just feels so nostalgic already. Like, even within like the first month because i've been following law country for a pretty good amount of time um i think the first time i got into it was like a few months before uh the initial early access release what is that noise oh is that um is this the is this the truck i know you guys can hear that because i turned the volume up it better not be the truck i hope not to be honest all right we're gonna step on the dot team here and one thing I um, have, like, made a very valid point within some of my Law Country videos is that the light switch never works. Though, they managed to fix it. Um, so as you can see, if I turn it off and on, the lights switch on and off, which I think is also very cool. They also added a sliding door here, which I believe was never there before. And, okay, I just got a little paycheck. I am rich now, guys. $1,000? I don't even have enough money to buy the bucket truck. There's no way, right? have insufficient funds oh no all right everyone after some technical difficulties in about a half hour um we have gotten the bucket truck so um yeah it has very cool lights in my opinion me personally i love these spinning lights they're just so dang cool man and then you have the uh law country department of transportation and all the other stuff so let's go ahead and open the gate Let's get out of here. Let's go try, at least, or attempt to, to try to use this bucket truck because I have no idea. Okay, this must be a glitch. I'm trying to turn, and it's, like, not working. Hopefully, I think the owner is probably going to watch this video anyway. So, um, yeah, that's one thing I just experienced, and I do not know if that was my fault or not. Um, but yeah, so we are looking for something to do, to do right now with this bucket truck. I, um, think I know where to go, but I'm, okay, that can't be me. I just swerved to the other lane. I don't know why. All right, I'm sorry, Law Country, but this thing is kind of undrivable. That glitch just, like, it keeps happening to me. Um, though the bucket truck, nonetheless, I will still use if I can get up there i um was trying to use it and i managed to get it all the way up there okay yeah we're gonna have to reset it and go back up there um so here is all the controls you have stabilizer mode so let's put that on i don't know what stabilizer mode does um i oh okay so it just makes it so you can't move anymore um so e is to go up and then you use WASD to go left, right. Uh, I don't think I'm close enough, am I? Might be. To be honest with you, I have no idea how to use a bucket truck. Like, I am, I am, like, one of the least experienced within DOT, within, like, anything. Like, I am, like, bad at it. So do not clown me. I'm just trying to show you guys how this thing works. Um... As you guys know, I, I like police officers and all that stuff. I don't really do good with these bucket trucks. Let's see how far we can go. I think this is the max. Oh, yeah. That's that's the But that's a pretty far distance for a bucket truck, dude. Like, I'm just floating over the street right now connected to a truck. One arm of a truck. That's, in my opinion, very cool. Yeah, so I said I wasn't going to review any of the other Teslas, though I did get some more money, as you can see, 194000 because I just bought this. Though I wanted to show you guys, oh, that's a insane door sound. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the Model 3 here. I will get the Model X as well. I just want to show you guys because I think this, all of the Teslas 
in this game are pretty cool. So let's get into the vehicle. It sounds like the same as the Cybertruck. Um, literally just a small volume of electricity. Ooh. Okay, and it's it's pretty fast. I mean, I can't say that because I only drive fast cars in this game. But this vehicle is pretty fast. And, oh, I don't even know where I'm going, dude. Do you pump gas? Can you pump gas into a Tesla? Let's myth bust right now. All right, let's grab this. Okay, hold on. I don't know if they have Tesla chargers in the game. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, let's see. Can I get this? Um, okay. It just keeps saying I have to move closer to the pump. Plus, there's no charging ports or aka gas ports in the vehicle anyway. All right, everybody. Here is the Tesla Model X. Now, look at this right here. Three, two, one. Butterfly doors on the Model X. See, I thought the Model S was going to be better. That's why in the beginning of the video, I said I wouldn't review this one. Until I saw this, dude, and I'm like, okay, this is the better one then. Because, like, this is, like, insane for a Tesla. That's, like, oh, and there's no seats in here. But, uh, yeah, see, I could just drive like this, and I'm just sitting on air. I assume they're working on, on car interiors. Wait, did I? I might have shut it off. So here is, yeah, you guys can join the server. I really don't care. There's nothing on here. I'm just leaking my code. Um. I think if you go to settings, you can... Okay, I shut off car interiors, guys. It's most likely to improve lag. I I thought I turned them on. I, I didn't know I turned them off, so I'm sorry. So yeah, that this is just no interior because I turned it off. This one is fastest. I think this is faster than the old uh, other one by far. Oh. See, if we ever tried to do like a race or something in this game, it would never work. Because it's just, like, so... There's just so many roads, so many, like, objects. Yeah, you can do straightaways. Oh, I was gonna say, you can do straightaways. But it's probably not gonna work every single time. See, I'm the best driver in this game. And in ERC. Nobody could beat me in any of those games, to be honest. Alright, guys. So, we're on the police team now. And this is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna showcase within this update. Yes, there is a lot in this update. I will tell you that. There... This update is insane. I'll be quite honest with you. This this update is like insane. Though, this is going to be the last thing I'm going to show you because of video length, obviously. If you do want to check out the update, I'll leave the game in the description, of course. And uh, thank you to everyone on this development team. Really nice update. But, as you can see, I think they changed the sound on this AR. If I remember correctly. Even though it doesn't have a scope, which is, which kind of annoys me. Because I think they should have a scope. Alright, so what I really want to show you guys now is this traffic Chevy Tahoe. So apparently there's like traffic enforcement now. I do not know how it works at all. Um, I do not know how it works at all. So you guys are going to have to bear with me like I do know how it works. Because I really don't. Whoa, what the heck? As soon as I clicked L, the, all the lights turned on. Alright. So, from what it says within the update log, cars randomly spawn, and I could use, um, I can, uh, go ahead and, like, do parking enforcement on it, though I don't know where, where I'm supposed to go. Also, I guess the police department is in construction or something, because they have a bunch of construction here, and then no actual police department, which I find odd, nonetheless. But we're going to go ahead and try to find some parking enforcement before this video reaches 20 minutes long. But I do want to uh, I do want to ask you guys some questions before I uh, go any further. Do you guys want to see actual role plays within this game? If so, what kind of role plays do you want to see? Also, let me know what you guys think on these update review type of things. I've been talking a lot. And I feel like sometimes I just make no sense when I talk a lot. And uh, I just want to know your guys' thoughts. Like, I, I, I do read comments, guys. I don't heart all of them because simply there's a lot to, to heart. Though I do read most of them. So, if you do say something, most likely I'll read it. And, okay, now it's nighttime and I don't know where to go. Let's just hit a straightaway, maybe? Alright, wait. I'm going into the county, which I, I shouldn't be. 
Also, I think there's a sheriff department coming. Uh, I could be wrong, though, guys. But I do think there's a sheriff department coming. Um, I saw some pictures within their uh, Discord here. Okay, yeah, this this is the coolest interstate I've ever seen. I'm. This is the coolest interstate I've ever seen. That is insane. But I am still trying to find some vehicles that I can... Uh, I'm still trying to find some vehicles that I can use parking enforcement on. Alright guys, so this is probably a disappointment to a lot of you because I personally like parking enforcement. So here is the September update. Um, this is one of the owners of the game. Um, as you can see, owner. But he... I was just reading this because I was trying to figure out how the parking enforcement works, essentially. And um, as you can see, just scroll down to where it says parking enforcement. Where is it? These are all the bug fixes. So many bugs. Um, SLPD parking enforcement. And then, hold on. Sorry. SLPD parking enforcement coming later, which means it's not here currently, which is kind of a disappointment. But, um... You know, there's nothing, nothing can do about that. Um, though it says park cars will spawn in every minute, one to four, one to four cars spawning each time. Um, five to thirteen cars do spawn on server start, which I haven't seen any cars parked around, so that's probably it. Um, and then, yeah, so this is just basically how it works, and you have to be on the police team to do it. But that's how it works, guys. If you did enjoy this Law Country video, hit the like button and subscribe. Let me know what content you guys would like on Law Country. Personally, I would love to do some more videos on this game. Um, let me know what you did think of the video entirely. Like I said, I think I talk too much and I make zero sense. But that's just me though. I won't hold you guys any longer. Hope you all did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye everyone.